Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to League of Legends. Today I am going to be the four court jester and we're going to go over a game that was given to me by my good friend Gorama. If you can find him there on Twitter, probably going to give him some link props there in the Twitter itself. But he claims it's a low ELO game and uh, it's a little, little even. A lot more even than last time, at least that's what he claims. So, let's get right into it, uh, shall we? Gangplank brand new Deer Wukong Malphite. We're going to be the blue team here, and purple is going to be represented by the Warwick Annie Misfortune Maokai Sona combination. It's good to see Sona out there, but of course we do have some sustained nerfs coming down the line, so we're going to have to see if that guy really does want to play that Sona later on. Now, in terms of summoner spells, let's look at this uh, nice 10 flash game. Running two clairvoyances are out and running, so where is that Eye of Sauron? Where is it? There it is. Dance for the camera there, Warwick. But we do got, it uh, looks like Warwick going to be out on the jungle. We do got Udir on the opposite jungle. Udir is a nice, nice strong jungle, I think. Uh, he's not nearly as powerful as he used to be. Thank you, Guardsman Bob, removing our locket for us. He's just too good, man. He's just too good. But other than that, yeah, we do got some clarity, some clairvoyances as well. So we already got those eyes down. I didn't see an eye... On our side, so our son is slacking a little bit. Maybe forgot he had it. Sometimes when I load up a zillion, yeah, I forget to uh, have it there too as well. So there we go. We got ourselves a Malphite and ooh dear, looking at the item choices off the top. Warwick with the typical cloth armor, help pots, and we do got a deer, of course, with the same kind of thing. Brand gonna be running that Doran's ring, likely gonna be going that middle. Just looking at this, it probably means Gangplank or Wukong is gonna go up there, and Sola that leaves Malphite to guard whoever is going to be of the other one, so, I don't know, maybe that Wukong. I haven't seen too much of Wukong, and that, what I have seen, not very that great, so, not too sure about how to call that one. And this one, though, I mean, looking at it, Misfortune could definitely go with that Sona into that bottom lane, leaving Andy and Bren to have a nice flame war, literally, in the middle. Uh, Maokai could easily solo a lane, now could swap that, we might see Sona with Andy, have Misfortune take the mid, both are very capable of that, but it does look like we are going to steal these golems right off the bat. As we do have, it looks, looks like Wukong is going to be guarding that top there, so likely he's going to be up there, which means we're going to have a Gangplank to go with this Malphite. We'll have to see how that rolls. Not stealing those golems, or maybe we already did it. Wow, that was quick if indeed they did. So they are going to protect the blue, we are going to get Warwick his, uh, his buff a little bit early, and so we did have some training going on here. He should be able to demolish that nice and easy. Brand is going to take... Annie in the mid, so definitely a flame war going down there. It does look like Misfortune is going to be with the Sona, of course. You know, get that sustained with that AD carry. A lot of people like to do that. Interesting. Malphite is going to be up top, actually. So Malphite with Wukong going to be taking top. It's going to make life hell a little bit for this Maokai. That means Gangplank is going to be soloing himself bottom nice and easy. So that's going to be... Very interesting. Alright, so Screaming Evil gonna take that blue, no problem. Udir very likely timing on his part. Actually, probably very qui a bit quicker on the timing there. Oh, there we go. Wukong coming down south. That makes a bit more sense, although Malphite versus Maokai Tav. I guess they were just waiting to see who wanted to pop that. How did that Wukong get down there so quick? Oh, of course, he does have that teleport. So does that Malphite. So either one of them could have easily came down here, no problem. Got some Ignites going out. Actually, I got zero ignites for the enemy team, but two ignites for ours. So fun times. All right, so the AD heal combo, the tank combo, the burning combo, and of course, you got some junglers running. So, Mr. Warwick, what are you running? You got yourself some move speed already off the bat, some extra armor, some magic resist. Of course, 18 armor is coming from that cloth, but nothing in the attack. So maybe a little bit of a tank quick. Maybe he's going with that armor pen. Seems to be doing all right in the health department. Uh, you know, doing clearing out that jungle. So maybe a little bit more tankiness there. I mean, he is rocking some decent armor. And if he is running, of course, you know, with a very armored kind of tank wick, then, uh, I don't know. If you, if you build a tank on top of the tank runes for Warwick, I find he just does not do that well in the jungle. Of course, you know, like, he'll be forever survivable, but good luck ganking something. You, you need that deeps, man. You need that deeps. And he does avoid that uh, flame, although she is getting beat around a little bit there. And the Malphites and uh, Maokai, it's almost like a big fist fight of of monsters. They kind of look the similar models, in, at least with that skin, the Maokai. So, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Of course, this is while replay here, folks. Not a live game whatsoever. So, our jungler is the one that submitted this. So, I'm not really ever going to see his hit points. So we're going to have to do a lot of inference here. Now, we do got Gangplank down here with the Wukong. Both of them are melee up against two range. And one of those range, of course, is going to be that AD carry of Misfortune. Oh, I, I like that Moonwalk right there. That was hot. 
And of course, you know, with Sona, that, that big sustain, I mean, they're never going to leave lane. I, I would have to be very surprised if we can get any kind of big, decent harass out of this. Now, we do got a fairy charm there on the monkey. We got the boots pot combo on Mr. Gangplank. So, you know, he's going for... I can only assume with the boot combo first, he was hoping to grab a melee, something he can sink his teeth into, try to stack up, you know, that uh, raise morale. See if he can grab some extra kills with that you know, extra move speed, but I don't think it's going to work. I mean, the positioning right here, these guys, are de they're staying bro pretty well, getting those last hits. At least I see them. We'll check that out in a minute. It does look like Malphite's in some trouble. This is, uh, uh, sorry, Maokai. Maokai and Malphite. God, it's going to destroy me all game. But Maokai is probably in a little bit of trouble looking at his hit points. I mean, we're not never going to see it. But now we here we do. We got a gank coming out from the Ooh, dear. Now this is some, going to be some big pressure. That's going to be a first blood right there onto Miss fortune and uh, yeah guaranteed Sona going to be trying to throw out that passive but uh, it's not going to quite work Wukong is going to get out of that one we did have the ignite go out but that's alright so I'm not too sure if we actually got that CV off now oh that was a terrible gank it seems that Screaming Evil going in there on the mid and he trying to throw out that uh, long range incinerate or no sorry long range disintegrate but of course it's not going to be enough to, to kill that that middle yep Sorry, Annie, bad gank. Instead, we did lose that misfortune. The enemies are now up 1 0 in kills. Now, let's take a quick look at those creeps. As uh, Actually, just going to keep an eye up here. As uh, Malkai, again, looking like he's getting some pretty big pressure. But 23 creep kills here for Annie. 30 for Malkai. He's doing pretty good with those uh, saplings and just walking over and hitting things. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Here's the Nerd. The giant tree just walks over, smacks it, walks away. Yeah. 32, 23, 19 for Warwick. Of course, he's in that job. Numbers coming out here for for the enemy uh, blue team, so 32, 25, 20, to 34, 23, 23, 19, yeah, you know, Soda with 3, Wukong with 7, uh, I guess the support role, Wukong, in this case, but he's definitely uh, deferring those last hits to Mr. Gangplank very nicely, so, you know, should, should work out for them in the end, as we're just uh, waiting for everybody to, you know, just kind of ramp up at this point. In terms of items, I mean, Annie went back to town, got herself that ruby crystal go with those boots, so she's going for a little bit of extra health to match that branch. Now we are going to go to town, pick ourselves up a Madred's Razor with our uh, Mr. Warwick, and uh, it does look like Top is missing. Malphite could be anywhere on this map at this time, because he does have that teleporting zip, zoom, and zoodle around, but so again does this monkey. You gotta be very careful. If you guys are gonna overcommit to some of these ganks, we could have a nice teleport come in and just uh, ruin your day. So Wukong backing off there, had a little bit of a splash of hit points, and you now back in town, you know, we picked ourselves up the Dorn's Blade to go with some boots of speed here for our Peaton. Pete N. Peaton. Yeah. Uniform, uh, I don't think there's actually gone back to town yet, but a uh, little sneaky sneaky, and he's thinking of trying to do something here. Trying to do something up against this brand, but brand's just going to continue to last it. He's happily farming away. Malphite went back to town, picked up a philo stone to go with uh, cloth armor, some health pots, speeds of speed, so he's definitely going for a nice GP10 bow. No! We got some big fire! Wow, that fire was enough, hot enough to burn that brand. So Annie bu jumping out of that bush, catching that brand off guard. Obviously his flash was still down, otherwise he probably would have used it. It does look like Warwick wants to come down here as the monkey clone dies. Kind of weird how it fades out like that. But Udyr is going to go up to the blue. And, uh, you know, if they're smart, Warwick will come in here. Oh, he doesn't have ultimate. Damn. It's only level 5. But, I mean, Sona and Misfortune should definitely come and help him out. Is nobody going to point this out? Nobody's going to point this out? Oh, there's Warwick. I was going to pass it on. That's nah, too late. Should have been able to set up something very nice there. And he's going to come to support. It does look like MS is finally going to come back. We do have Gangplank coming up in the middle as well. This could be bad though because Timbers just disappeared, but we do get the stun off. We've got Make It Rain and Warwick again, not level 6. We're going to have a big flash come out of that dude here. Bop! Right there. Not going to catch him. So at least you made him use that, uh, maybe, please. Whoa, Oryx is actually going to be chasing him down with Blood Scent. What level is that Blood Scent? Level 1. Uh, is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? Where is that brand? Brand not around? No, there he is. There is brand. Brand to help out a little bit. Of course, that's, uh, he's not going to do that much. It does look like they're able to chase down that Wukong with the help of, uh, Andy and Misfortune. So they got a kill out of it. Save the blue. And, uh, chased all Udyr all the way back to town. Wasted a ton of summoners. Uh, overall good stuff for the purple team. And, uh, you yeah, know, Maokai doing all right up there. Farming up against that, uh, that yellow stone to Malphite. Yeah, almost got to you, dear. Almost. That's all right. Now, it does look like the flame attack war is going to go back and forth. The ultimate coming out. Not going to be enough to take down that. And only one bounce. 38 
hit points as she burns to death. Yep, that's right. Brand will burn you to eight health potions. Wow, he really does not want to leave town. That's uh, that's quite interesting. Now we do got a little bit of aggression coming out. The Wukong down south up against Misfortune Sona combo, but uh, you really don't want to be soloing up against that. Now Philostone coming out for the monkey and uh, Avarice Blade, very predictable coming out from Mr. Gangplank. So of course the crit going to help him out with those parlays and just in general critting, which is usually a good idea. Yeah, if you want to attack for double the damage, get that crit. Not a problem. Level six here on the ma on the Warwick is going to be hanging out here mid up against the level eight Brand. And uh, if you do have keen ears, you will hear the sweet sounds of Halo and its matchmaking in the background, as my wife is c might have the trucker mouth. You're going to have the trucker mouth today, love? She, she's going to try to behave for us, guys, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Now Warwick is going to find that Udir. Udir's going to try to get off the stun. Might be back, because Brad is going to flash up. And the gangplank. Oh, that's going to be one dead wolf. Wolf carpet tonight. Going in my tent. Yep. Ow, indeed. <laughs> Now, Maokai came down to uh, say hello, but all he's done is pick up a Mercury Treads. With all those creep kills, we'd expect a little bit more, but he's up to 48, 42, 44, so, you know, nice 40s, but 60 almost here for Bran. Too much free farm for him, I think. Yeah, 50 coming out for Malphite, so Malphite doing some decent work, like a boss. Wonder if he actually leveled up those brutal strikes. I would never know, but he has those ninja tabbies, very afraid of AD. You know, we got the Warwick, and we got the... Misfortune, and of course, you know, Maokai could just run up to him, punch him in the face, and uh, anytime he wants. So, going for those dodge boots, maybe going to be stacking a little bit more dodge, but uh, we'll have to see. I mean, 12%, it's alright. It's alright. Pushing this tower a little bit, Maokai's going to come up here to defend that, no problem. Level 8s across the board, 6s and 7s, and 8s, oh my. I feel like I remember it now. In terms of, you know, just everything, everybody's coming along. So, Misfortune, 11 minutes picking up that VF sword to go with everything. So, she's going to start uh, being able to do some decent creep damage. Of course, she has that nice range, you know, plus 45 damage. Yep, plus 45 damage to add to those auto attacks. She'll be able to start last hitting a little bit more effectively. Now, with that Avarice Blade, you know, gives off some uh, GP10. If you are curious, GP10 means gain gold per 10. So, gains, he gains 5 gold per 10. But I'm not going to say 5 GP 10, just because nothing else, it's, it's always 5. So, we just assume it's 5. And he's going to be doing a little bit of hideout here, uh, up against that brand. And, uh, ooh, a little bit, a little bit. No, what are you doing? Face checking with your face! No, the cyclone coming out! Pete, not looking so good, is going to try to get off that double up. Does look like someone is able to keep her alive just for now. 200 hit points right there. But, oh dear, oh no, I want to ping right there. You're actually not going to go behind, not going to do any kind of tower diving. Saw it, but, uh, you know, this this river ward, a good thing right there. And that does look like Screaming Eel. He's going to be coming top here with the Maokai. Maokai doing his best. Get those last hits. Woo, right there. Picking him up. Now Udir is going to come in here. He's going to go right for you, Misfortune. Nope. Instead, he's going to get stunned by the Sona, but Gangplank is going to do it. Instead, is Gangplank going to win this? No, he is not. Pete is going to take that kill. That ultimate just a, a little bit too far. So no kill for you. Udir is now going to babysit the lane while you go back to town. But a kill under your belt, I mean, that's going to be very nice. Now we've got some boots as well as a vampiric here for the Warwick and Maokai. Come in to uh, visit bottom lane, or sorry, middle lane a little bit. Annie is on the move. She picked herself up some Sork shoes to go with that ruby crystal. Going to come down here. Probably how about this Annie who, no, there's a branch. She is one dead little girl. <laughs> Well, big girl, I suppose. That was an interesting flash, Annie. Uh, not too sure what you were trying to accomplish there, but Sona's going to go down. As soon as you notice a low hit point squish, you just tower dive it to hell, guys. And, uh, yeah, that's what happens. He goes and dies. Splat! And uh, that's that. 4-4 four, four is the score of 13 and a half minutes into the game. And, uh, you know... Creep hits uh, coming along. 62, 61, 58 to go to uh, with uh, 76, 65, 46. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit more even across the board here for the purple team. But, you know, Brand spiking up at 76 with two kills to boot, guys. I mean, Miss Fortune has that, but she doesn't quite have those creep kills. So, you know, in terms of money, a little bit of extra money here going to, to Team Blue as uh, he tries to get some spam here out onto my boy Warwick. Not going to work, though. But he will, you know, happily free farm all this stuff. As we got some Sonic the Hedgehog music to be uh, accompanying us today. I just fast forwarded a little. That's okay, you didn't miss anything. At least I don't think you missed anything. Chalice of Harmony coming out with, uh, <coughs> looks like, uh, well, the dagger and the boots of speed could definitely go some for some berserkers, or the brawlers is going to go straight for an early Phantom Dancer. 
Interesting. Alright, we're gonna have to keep an eye on what Mr. Gangplank wants to do. Might try to turn the Avarice into Yomus. I don't know. This is about Elo, guys. Everything is unpredictable. But, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. So, with that Chalice, I mean, theoretically, he should parlay his way into a nice creep score. He is at 50 at this point. So, you know, parlay that, get the extra gold. It's good stuff. Good fun stuff. That is not the monkey! Stop attacking the, the monkey's image. And, uh, BF Sword with Berserker Screams here on Misfortune. So, she's not worried at all about any of these CCs or any of that magic damage. Just gonna try to get off a little bit more attack speed. Now, I believe the enemy team, you know, Team Blue here, uh, take a quick look around and everything. All right, it should be a fun. So Team Blue here does have at least that avarice and a fiddle and a fiddle. So we got three uh, gold pretend items. We have zero for Team Purple. So you know, in that terms, in that yeah, in that case, you know, the creep skills, uh, the creep score is going to start you know raking up a lot of money. No turrets are down and they're tied you know for for kills. So that's okay. But the, that GP10 that's going to start you know giving them a little bit of an edge. You know, get those items a little bit quicker as. Um, yeah, it should work out really well for them. Now, Ra oh, a uh, needlessly large rod on Brand. Looking a little scary right now. 122 attack power to go with that amplifying tome. And, uh, yeah, he should be okay. So, we're throwing out some images here. Wukong doing the spam a little bit. It does look like Warwick was in the bush. Now, I do not know if they have this ward or not, but it is very useful that we have that ward right there because Warwick does not have those tier 2 boots. Yet, Wukong is going to go in here, but we do get the counter stone on top of him with the gangplank ult, so that's okay. It does look like Warwick's doing alright. And, oh, the misfortune ultimate. Not could be taken quite down the pyre, but that's okay. The disintegrate, literally, he disintegrated <laughs> under uh, under the pressure of Annie. So six to four right now. In fact, there's a two for zero exchange, and uh, Malachi looks lost in that wood. Don't really know why, but Ujir looks like he's going to be handling the mid as it does do have Annie with that catalyst. So either going to go for that Rod of Ages quick, or maybe a Banshee's Veil. Banshee's wouldn't be too bad, but neither would a Rod at this point. Oh, what are you doing? Don't let him get off there. He's going to stun you. Yep, but Malachi's gonna come over, he's gonna jump right here onto the Sudir, throws out the damage, and, uh, wow, that Annie doing some good amount of work. Wukong did teleport mid, does look like we are able to clean up a double kill onto that brand, but Wukong getting a little bit of revenge there on the little girl. He is a mean one, that one. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna, now he has that blue buff, that's alright. So, two for one exchange, we're still up 8-5, and Warwick, unfortunately Warwick not doing so great. Zero one two, and, uh, hasn't really had to successful gank yet, but he does have himself a heart of gold, 55 creep kills to go with it, so that heart of gold help him out a little bit. Oh good, a Philosopher's Stone coming out on Miss Sona. I suspect that she's going to be doing a lot of the warding today, so she needs those GP10 items to get up there, and she needs to, you know, spam, spam, spam that heal. Mm, let's take a quick look. Zeo coming along, very nicely for Mr. Gangplank, so definitely going for a quick Phantom Dancer, and now Malphite's down here. So he's totally abandoned the top lane, didn't really land any kind of damage on it, but now we do got a, maybe a dead Wukong right here. Come on, Screaming Evil, do your stuff! Hit him, dude! Hit him! Oh, the flash! It's gonna be enough. Brand now gonna come in with Avengers 402 movement speed. He's definitely running some kind of quince, or maybe that utility tree. Get that, you know, edge out that extra movement speed, so uh, that's going to be actually a little scary later on, especially if we can get a little bit more movement speed. So throwing out that sapling didn't actually do anything. Now we got two mid. We do got two bot. We are missing Udyr, probably in that jungle, but nobody's farming top. We got three in transit here in the mid and two in the bottom. And to Miss Fortune not really showing me which way she wants to go with that BF sword. Very likely it's going to be a bloodthirster, but I would not be adverse to seeing a critical edge. That's what I call an infinity edge, because it gives crit. In case you want to call me down on that. Haha, -ha, I beat you to it. Oh, it looks like it may be a jungle. Nope, we got an Eye of Sauron right there and three people stacked up on it. Anyways, uh, either that or a Black Cleaver. Screaming Evil looks like he really wants to go in for some meat here, but we do got that stun. Only land on the Udyr, throwing the ult on the Udyr, and oh no, the reverse coming out on a Maokai. Maokai not even getting off his ult, but he might get it! Yes, he gets the kill on, on that brand just before going down. I would have preferred to see his ultimate go down, because Screaming Evil not looking so good. It is going to get off the kill onto that Wukong, but I think that Gangplank is just going to be stacking too much slow on him. And what a great ultimate coming out from Miss Fortune right there. Unfortunately, not able to act rack up any of the kills as uh, she picked up herself a pickaxe, so it does look like she wants to go for a Madrid. <coughs> not a problem. So Andy did go down. My wife is dying in the background. You okay, love? No? Oh. Okay. Why you engage? Well, we assumed you would. Yeah, okay, sure, why not? Yeah, whatever. So Misfortune actually was not in that fight, but it, you know, it was 8-6, I believe. Now it's 10-9. Uh, oh, God. 
That does not sound good at all, Love Bug. Not at all. And yeah, so it would here with Negatron Cloak and that Regrowth Pendant. Uh. What's he gonna do with that? Maybe Spirit Massage? Does that even make his bear Spirit Massage? Find out! Defense! Health Regen! Regrowth! Nope, not gonna be that, so Force of Nature then. Yep, Force of Nature. Okay, I can see a Force of Nature working on him, get some extra attack speed. So, what am I talking about? Extra move speed. Uh, stack that, you know, with his uh, little stance dance. Could be fun times. Now, uh, I don't see Odir on the board, so I can't actually check his uh, movement speed, but if it's already uh, above normal with those boots, means he is running you know, maybe that utility tree, maybe some movement quins, and stack a Force of Nature on top of that, and uh, yeah, you'll be set. Just like this brand, this brand's running at 402 movement speed, so he's looking alright. Actually, he's picked himself up a hex tag, that's gonna do him well. Good bounces between the heroes, that has to hurt. Now, Maokai coming in, gonna get hit by the monkey, throwing out the ult. Maybe a little too, bit too premature. We do got a Sunfire Cape showing itself here on the burning rock. Literally, how does a rock burn? I don't understand, but yeah, there we go. Cloak of Agility coming with a pickaxe and a BF sword, so okay, going to go for that critical edge. That's fine. No worries. I can live with that. Executioner's Calling. That's interesting. That's not an item you see that often anymore. 18% lifesteal with a 15% crit, and you know, burn your, burn your heroes down a little bit. That'll be fine. We're going to see how that was. But you got four here stacked in the middle. Let's take a quick look at the creep skills. 111, 102, and 85 to match the 104, 90, 90. So again, you know, very even overall for the purple, but it does look like, you know, blue team starting to edge out a little bit. And of course, you know, with those... Uh <laughs> Thank you. My wife wrote out a, a, a note saying, burning rock equals lava. You're, you're amazing, love. But yeah, the, the creep kill is starting to edge out a little bit. Let's see Malphite dance a little jig there in the corner. Throw out your ult there, Malphite. You can do it, buddy. Nope, gonna get hit by that Malphite. Is he even gonna get it up? Now he's gonna go down. No ult. And it does look like the monkey shredded itself as well. But now that was just a clone. No worries. Some good damage coming out here from Brand. Throwing out that ultimate. It was five on three, I believe, because Malphite is now down. It does look like Udir is able to take someone. He does not have any extra movement speed, so that Force of Nature will do him well. Gangplank looking like he's a uh, good bait right now, but Brand gonna come in. He ha actually doesn't have any mana. He's running a blue pot. That's very interesting. Uh, trying to edge out a little bit more on that, but Udir is happily pushing away. So, while they did lose a fight there mid, they were able to take that top tower. They only lost one. I believe they only lost the Malphite. Looking at that, yes, they only lost that Malphite. And now they're actually putting the pressure here on the mid as well. Maokai going to go up top, find that Udir, keep him in that tower range, but Udir can tank a tower. Not a problem. I mean, look at all this armor he's stacking. 92 armor, 134 magic resist. He's looking alright. Stance dancing his way to victory. In case you don't know what stance dancing means, it's like uh, an old World of Warcraft term for warriors. Like, they would go into normal uh, their battle stance and they could throw off their spells, switch over to Berserker's stance, get some extra rage, do some more damage, switch into defensive, put up your shield wall. Very useful back when, you know, World of Warcraft required skill. So, yeah, stance dance in this case, I mean, Udyr is the only one that I know of that can actually do the stance dancing because, well, every skill of his is a stance. Like, stance, stance, stance. Stance. There it is. The monkey's agility. That's of course his passive, and that stacks every time you enter a stance. So you know you stance, stance your way to victory. I know I'm a nerd. Whatever. Anyways, Gangplank doing a good job uh, pushing up down here. Has a pickaxe ready to go. Still the tier one boots, but he's running at 417 movement speed. But of course he does. I think he has that raised morale. Yeah, maybe that's why he's uh, 468 move speed on this guy with tier one boots. Loving it. Loving it. Alright, Sona chasing down that creep wave, you know. Sultan her mother. Critical edge, sorry, Trinity Edge now. It's uh, misfortune and you know, Riggles, Heart of Gold, Mercury still only on Mr. Warwick. Now I gotta throw out some uh, some rocks, rock on rock action. <laughs> and uh, that'll be that. Now Annie, I don't know why you're doing face checking that bush, especially when you know Malphite's out there, but it looks like you picked up a rod of the ages and going for a blasting wand. Uh, so that's alright. 176 ability power. Not too bad. Where's Brand? I need to, you know, directly compare. There we go. Brand, 176 as well. Ha went for the Hextech, went for the Needlessly Large instead of the root of the Rod of Ages. Clearly the Rod of Ages just for a little, a little bit of tankiness, you know, health, mana. Gives, of course, some agility power, but mostly for the, the tankiness aspect. Good luck catching a new deer in that. But Udyr is actually going to turn right around 
everyone is within the Gangplank Ultimate. Those cannons from afar, raining down death, and he's feeling all right. Whirlwind, uh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> Whirlwind, Whirlwick Ulti, not gonna happen. Misfortune having her hands full here in the middle, uh, up against two of them, but Maokai's in there. Come on, help out your Maokai before he dies. Yeah, I mean, he is made of wood, and Bran's in there. And, you know, Bran burns wood, fire burns wood. <laughs> but a Glacial Shroud, okay. Cool seal, cool beans. Glacial Shroud, giant spelt. So, obviously going for, uh, you know, frozen armor. We'll have to see how that works. Now, Eddie's trying to light fire to the Malphite, who's already on fire, and of course is a rock. So he can survive. You know, he's kind of very molten here at this point. Okay, I'm just making fun of it at this point, guys. But she is trying to do that damage, and uh, uh, she will do some damage. But uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of magic resist stacked on there with that armor. Now, Mr. Brand, thank you, Warwick. Doesn't look like it is. is pushing up that top again, and Maokai is you know, trying to do his best to defend this bottom. In terms of kills, I mean, we are up 11 to 9, and nobody, as far as I know, has been able to take a dragon. Now, apparently, I say dragon wrong. Dragon. Dragon. Which one do you prefer? Dragon. Dragon. How do you say it? How do you say dragon? Dragon. People, apparently, it's wrong. <laughs> dragoon? Yeah, let's not call it a dragoon. <laughs> I know. It's alright, love. Instead, I'm going to watch you deer get his, uh, get his turtle shell just worn away. Now, Warwick is, uh, you know, really fast with that blood We don't have any stuns left for this Udir, so we have to either burn him down or he's just going to run the heck away. And there you go. That's why you can't Chase down to Udir. Stance, stance, the victory. Just keep popping that turtle shell. I mean, why not? Yep, fun time. So, in terms of, I think I was looking at last hits. 134, 135, 119, 120, 120, 118. So again, you know, slight edge uh, for the blue team still at this point. Miss Fortune going for a tower kill must be pretty low because she's just letting this molten rock just kill her. Wow, okay, that's very interesting. Uh, we do got a flash coming out from the Malphite running for his life. Sona really wants to get that revenge. Not going to get it. Heart of Gold actually go with her. So now she's running that good, good uh, GP10 stack. So 10 gold per 10 is easily going to pay for her wars. We do got a flash coming out of this Warwick because Warwick versus Udir. I'm pretty sure Udir going to win at this point, especially with Brand, you know, backing him up. Brand now over the 200 ability power mark. Annie is uh, not, not quite there, 178. But yeah, her health and mana stuff is going to start maxing out within the next few minutes. And, uh, you know, some big pressure. No! Why are you letting them get that close to you, Annie? Bad, Annie. Bad. Oh, yeah. Stand in front of the cyclone. That's fine. Well, look at everyone run. Gotta love Ball Replay. Brand up in the forest is burning our Maokai to death, but that's okay. He has a frozen heart, so fire doesn't work on him yet anymore. Now, Sona is, wow, taking a big crit there from the parlay. Ult in five. Maybe we're going to see something of a fight here. Oh, we're going to hit that clone because it's definitely not him. There we go. There's the real one. Yobu is coming out for Mr. Monkey Breath. Yes, that's what I called him. Mr. Monkey Breath. And, uh, you know, Sona going for that stuff. We do still got that Hextech Revolver. Looks like still no uh, froze, still no force of nature for that Udir. Good old, beautiful old. I got to say it right there. That's going to pick him up a triple. Three for zero right now, and of course that was only three of them. Now we're going to fight this brand. Do we got a Warwick ultimate? We do not. Warwick going to go take some damage. That's okay. Malachi's going to pick that up. His life. Uh, he picked up himself up that uh, Sunfire Cape. So stacking Sunfires with the Malphite. Okay. Sure. Whatever you want to do. Now this Udir is very tanky, you'll notice. He has to use that flash to get out, but Pete really wants that kill. Not going to happen. And he took all five of their punishments. Still got out of that. Now they did lose a tower. They did lose four heroes. It's now 15 to 10. Looking really good, actually, for, for Purple Team. Uh, screaming Evil by himself, not so much. 2-2. Two, two. No ultimate. Not going to chase him down, which is probably very wise. We got a teleport coming in here from the Wukong. Wukong going to be uh, you know, just riding on over there, hitting up those creeps. Oh, look at the little adorable sapling. It's so cute. I think everyone's about to reset. Maybe steal some jungle creeps. Oh, why'd you use the smite? Why did you use the smite? You could have used it to go kill the dragon. Silly Warwick. Now, Warwick, you know, he, he stole the creeps here, and uh, they will respawn uh, if you don't leave anyone there. They did leave someone there. There we go. First dragon happening right there. I'm just going to call it the reptile with wings. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. 
But yeah, <laughs> these guys are like, whoa, they're all missing. That dragon, definitely missing. How are they saying to pronounce it? Well, apparently, since we're Canadian, we say dragon, like D R A Y G U N, like a dragon. It's a long A. It's pronounced. It's it, that's just how, how we say it here. Unfortunately, most of my audience isn't isn't Canadian. Drag on, I assume. <laughs> Cause I, I can't think of any other way to say it. But whatever. We're getting a little bit off topic here. So the eyes of Sauron coming out, sees the retreating uh, the retreating allies. Now we are going to lose that turret. And so, uh, what has Annie gone? Going for Blasting One, needlessly large rod, looking for that rabbit on. And now it looks like we're going to get our own Phantom Dancer running here on Misfortune. Uh, Regrowth Pendant, Ruby Crystal. Hope we're not going for a Warbox here on Maokai because it's way too late. We're gonna do that, Either, or he's just really confident. He is really up there. You know? 140, 140, 120, 150, 145, 110, 136. So yeah, still a little bit of a creep advantage here for Team Blue. Now Team Blue again, you know they were stacking a little bit of those GP10 items, but we got our own going now for for our our purple team. So I don't know. In terms of gold, they are up, I would say, because we do got extra turret. Actually, that's a lie. We're tied in turrets. Turret, turret, uh, turret, turret, as I lose away from the action. We do got a whirlwind going on there by that Wukong. He's trying to get some kills. We do got the big AoE from, from the Gangplank. Gangplank, however, is going to burn to death to the Tibbers, but oh my gosh, everybody died right there. Uh, I don't think Annie's going to get out of that. I don't think Malka's going to get out of this either. And, uh, nope, she's going to go in there. So a five for one combo getting aced at the tower. What, what, what just happened? Guys, what just happened? Let's look at the death recap for ourselves. Basic, so physical, magic, 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 physical, magic. It's predominantly magic damage coming out there for this blue team. And uh, yeah, I mean, can't really blame them. I mean, Udir throwing out uh, his stances with some physical damage. Malphite is now unless he's gonna hit you, it's pretty AP. And Brand, oh my Brand, 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 Brand. So we are now going to be losing out in the towers. We still are up one kill. We got a dragon, but definitely with those towers, the money has definitely shifted, especially with that creep course, creep score, creep kill score. I'll get this right one day. Uh, so yeah, it's looking looking really good for blue team at this point after that fight. Now, Mr. Warwick, he didn't pick himself up a spirit visage and a phage. Can't really see a phage being super useful here, uh, but I would have. Probably like to see a Madras after that. I mean, we already got the Wriggles, and the Wriggles gonna help you fire and doesn't really help you super much against enemies. I mean, it gives a little bit of armor, a little bit of life steal. That's fine. Yeah. Now, in terms of kills, you know, the the leaders here, Annie Misfortune, as they should be. I mean, they are the carries. They do need to get those kills. And that farm is the top two on their team. They are kind of catching up a little bit to the leaders. Gang playing really up there. Brand really up there. Mouth fight really up there. Actually, Misfortune now taking the lead a little bit. Uh, Gangplank with the <laughs> Boots of Lucidity, so really going for a lot of parlay action and now a Phantom Dancer to go with that Avarice and of course the Execution, he's had that for a while. And now Brand, not quite there with his Rabidons, but he did get pick himself up a Will of the Ancients, so uh, he should be rocking that ability power. Where are you Brand? I don't see you anywhere. Now, another Giant Spout coming out here for Mr. Udir, who's just really trying to stack. He's up to 3k hit points now, 165 armor, 142 magic resist. The ult coming out from Maokai didn't really do that much. I would like to see it more in this area, but we do got some big big pressure coming up from the blue team right now as we do got four heroes trying to put it up to poke war. However, not going to be working. Oh, a great combination onto Brand now with their primary AP. Down to this one guy, Gangplank. Going to be taking a quick death as well. And Malphite to boot. Now we do got the monkey here. He's going to throw out this whirlwind. He's going to be at least taking out Screaming Evil. But is he going to pay for it? Yes, he is. And this should be the ace right there. Maokai with the suppress. Yes. That looks really good right there. Really good. So 21-17 now for our team. Pete is now scoring that ace. Uh, nobody really picking up any doubles or anything. But Screaming Evil going down. Holgor going down. So that Annie. But that was a really good ace. Really, really useful. Misfortune going up in kills. Maokai. Sona getting that assist gold. As wow. Sona with the Spirit Massage. I don't think I've ever seen that. But, I mean, I can understand the idea of it. I guess. <laughs> uh, she really wants to heal herself. No, okay, I can't, I don't really see it. Not at all. Uh, Cage is lucky pick, so, you know, another 5 gold per 10 seconds, so she's up to 15 gold per 10. So, you know, 
she's do she should be doing a lot of warding, but I don't actually see any wards here. Like at all on the map anywhere. So you I mean you're stacking these gold per per five items? You, uh, sure, maybe I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the wards did just you know, expire. I haven't really kept a close eye on it. It looks like Pete's going to take out this tower or die trying. No, there we go. He's going to take out that tower. Has himself that Phantom Dancer looking really good for him. And uh, I think that actually... One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep, we're actually now tied up in towers. We do have a dragon on our side and we are up four kills. Creep score be damned. We're, we're looking really good. There we go. So, Sona, please buy wards. So yeah, she's definitely doing the good thing, fighting the good fight, getting those wards with all that gold that she is collecting. Too bad I can't see gold of, of our allies, but that's alright. Now we do got our Rabidons on Annie, almost 500 ability power, looking alright. It is going to be a war box for this... for this... Okay, I am impressed. Well, I, I can't say dragon, guys. I can't, dra I can't say it. It's just one of those words I could just... I guess I could not say. Now I'm gonna get emo. Now I'm gonna go join a moo moo. Dragon. Yes. Like that? Dragon. I'm never doing that. Dragon. I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will always say it dragon and before self correcting myself. Anyways, lots of uh, full items coming up here. Now, I mean, that Warmog should be very useful. Oh, who got the dragon? I don't even know. What was I doing? I was being silly. And then, oh, that's not going to be looking good. Screaming Evil taking some big damage from the Cyclone. Coming out from that Wukong. Oh, he's not going to get away from that. But the Malphite going to jump in here with his ultimate. Does look like Misfortune is down. Annie is going to be down. Sona is, uh, needs to stick around. She really does. She needs to get out some damage. Do some auto attack and do something. How about this Malphite? Not this Malphite. How about this Malkai? Does look like Malphite's going to get away, though. And, uh, come on, turn around. Hit this guy! You, you got this! It's only a new deer. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, deer with it. War box. Oh, I just noticed that. And, yeah, I think you guys got this. You got this. It's 3 for 3 right now. Come on, keep getting that guy. Make it into your favor by 3 for 3. Who got that dragon? I don't know. I don't even know what that says, Misfortune. Ich konnte die Karate durch Ulti Einstein. Must be German. I know, my German's terrible. <laughs> I'm just reading this what it says on the screen. But I do must version border zu bleiben. Apparently my German is not good according to my wife, so I'm gonna stop pretending it is. Malkai gonna be up here. He's gonna clear up some creep waves. As I say, he must be very confident he can fill up this war monks before the end of the game. But to I me mean, he's running thirty four hundred hit points with a lot of armor. Of course, you know, we do have a lot of magic damage coming out, so yeah, it's, he seemed to be alright. He, he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with that dude here with the help of that Sona, and he was able to survive the fights a little bit. Now, I can't say it's the same for Mr. Warwick. I mean, he's going for that frozen mallet. I just don't know why at this point, um, because he's 2 five fifteen. He's more of an assist at this point. And this is kind of what I was talking about. I did some some work with a Tankwick. Uh, uh, I have I have a Tankwick guide actually in the mix, and some big help coming out from Baron von Richtofein. That's just his name. That's not even me trying to be fancy. But yeah, he he was teaching me a little bit about the Warwick jungle and how to play a Tankwick. And you know, if you're going to be playing Tankwick, you want to be useful to your team. Don't build tanky in the runes and the masteries. Just build tanky in the items. Now, see, even building tanky here, it's, you're still going to go down. I mean, we're pretty decent into the late game now. 40 minutes in, and big damage going down. Malphite is going to jump into here, but we do got the ultimate from that Malkai just reducing everything. But pop it, pop it! Now he's going to die instead. It does look like we're able to kill that Malphite, so maybe a two for one? Yeah, it just looks like a two for one at this point. Oh, Siren going down. I heard it right there. You, they, they see you. They see you. I think as he should, I mean, he died. What a jerk, right? Who dies? Now, we don't have any kind of eyeball coming up from Miss Sona, who has a needlessly large rod. That's quite funny. And she sold the cage's lucky pick for it. Ah, okay. I would have sold the spirit visage. It's not really going to do you much. Alright, whatever. No worries. No worries. Alright, so it looks like a little bit of a reset. No towers are taken, but it's just a two for one. Kill is pretty even. 25-22. Uh, towers, I do believe, are dead even. And even if the enemy team did get this uh, this dragon here... That's an even dragon. I don't suspect that they did, but uh, that's just me. Ravidon's in a void staff coming up from Annie. She's going to start hurting, but not not before this guy crits her face off. 
207 damage, crit that, you know, to maybe 4, 500, minus armor, eh, maybe 400-ish. Uh, Miss Farge doesn't look like she really wants to go for that kill. Unfortunately, it's not going to work for her. She's now stacking a Black Cleaver with an Emblem of Valor, and the only thing you can make of that is that Stark, so she's going to start laying on that pain in, uh, in fairly short order. Shredding that magic, or the, shredding that physical armor with the Black Cleaver is going to be good if she can get some repeated attacks on this, this physical. Even Warwick, I mean... It's not really building damage, like, we got a Wriggles, we got a Frozen, I don't know. So it's really only mostly for her benefit. We just threw down the Sona ult on top of Fudir. Guess we were really confident we could kill him, but the Gangplank ult in retaliation is going to be... And look at this guy, he's just regening like a boss. Malphite is going to be in this nick of the woods, we do got a Wukong. Minion has destroyed an ally tower, so that tower is going to be down, but it does look like Malphite is going to come in here and they're going to pick out this Maokai. Oh, great flash. Unfortunately, it's not going to work because of the red buff. Nope, not a red buff. Phoenix stance then, I guess, from Udyr, because Udyr got the kill, but he wasn't anywhere near them. Now we got Agra to make it rain. Oh, we're going to get the kill. Yes, Screaming Evil picking up the kill there on that uh, Udyr. He does go down. Oh, no, focusing down the monkey. Brilliant, Pete. Well done on your part. You're just doing some massive damage. This is going to be a double right there for you. Turning this right on their heads. I mean, we do got the the blood scent running. We do see that uh, gangplank out there. We are going for for this brand. I don't know why. 30 seconds. I don't think we can actually pick him down. Now, we did eat an orange, and we were okay. Come on, gangplank. Turn around and kill the kill the boar. Like, what are you running for? Well, oh, this four then. I guess it's understandable. Brand, however, melting misfortune. Oh, my God. Did you see that? That was like three attacks and she was down. That must be a slap in the face for Pete. And Pete's like, yeah, I'm destroying people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burns to death. Oh, that's not very nice. Now, Gangplank is very deceptive here, Annie. So if you go over there and he crits you, you're dead. I mean, that's all there is to it. You don't, you're not really super tanky. You have 2,600 hit points and all you have is, yeah, not even a shred of armor. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. She can back up. Now that void staff, you know, 40% magic penetration doesn't matter how much magic armor you're going to be stacking. She's still going to shred you, as well as uh, Thornmail coming out here for Mr. Maokai to go with that more mugs, and you know, 200 creep kills now attained for both Misfortune and Brand. And uh, let's take a quick look around the place. So Rabadon's coming out here for Mr. Brand with another blue potion and that void staff. So kind of a mirror, almost a mirror build to to Annie. He does have that will of the ancients, whereas Annie has that rod of ages. And now Miss Fortune is going to be picking up that Stark's Fervor to go with everything. So she'll be like a boss. Chain Vest coming out after the Frozen Mallet. So again, you know, Tankwick trying to build Tankwick. Does look like, you know, the Dragon is now down for this enemy team. So they're doing a really good job of actually staying in here. It's really 50-50. You know, they get a turret, we get a turret. They get a dragon, they get a dragon. We get an ace, they get an ace. It's going, it's going back and forth. If I had to say, you know, a bet as to who had more money at this point, I'm more inclined to say Purple Team. Uh, so because I do think they did get that second dragon. So I'm going to go with them. Hopefully when the spectator mode gets released, you know, it'll be a little bit easier. But look at this Mal guy just chasing off everyone with a face check. Oh, there goes your Banshees, Mr. Malphite. I didn't even know he had a Banshees. But yeah, Banshees with a Sunfire and a Frozen Heart and another Giant's Belt. Malphite, you are stacking that health, man. 3,200 health, looking all right. 256 armor to boot. Now Wukong with that uh, Yomu's, you know, he's going for that Phantom as well as the Bloodthirster. Has that Bloodthirster, and uh, he's gonna start doing some, a little bit more damage. Udir still with that Mad Dreads. has himself a pickaxe. Might be trying to make it into a real Blood Razor, but uh, we're just waiting at this point. And he throwing out the the shield. Maybe good, maybe bad, but oh, melting ice attack! Not even gonna get a chance, Brand, to throw it. Anything just goes down in like a pinch. No problem. We do that cyclone and a running away monkey. Malphite throwing at that old, trying to keep everyone alive, but Pete's gonna come in here and raffle pwn him. As uh, it does look like your is gonna be going down in the mix as well. Three for one. Oh, Sona died. Who cares? It's Sona. She's just a support hero. I say that, but she's very critical. I mean, she's doing, like, all the warning in the map. But, I man, they traded Brand, Udyr, and a Malphite for a Sona. Very good trade overall. Look at this attack speed. I mean, wow, wow, wow. That that Baron had no chance whatsoever. It would be great if there's, like, a global steal, but no, no steal. And now it does look like we're going to be pushing down, at least for another tower. So definitely a big gold league coming out here for the purple team. Our team, team represent of this Warwick. 
and uh, nobody's really gone back to town, so there's no bo there's no new items. You're just gonna get this turret, and uh, people are now gonna be up. Gangplank's up, Wukong's up. Well, actually, Wukong never did die, as my wife is probably gonna be dying in the background now. Now, if I could be jumping over here onto the gangplank, gangplank, what are you doing? This side of the wall, dude. Flash on over. There we go. And no, we're not gonna have anyone. Uh, everyone. Follow that Wukong. Unfortunately, could not defend this tower, but Brand, Brand's got to be feeling it, man. The like 1800. He's a glass cannon, and he just oh, he's got to be burning with with rage. It's so easy to make fire pun jokes. You never know that. You got Nanny in this game, and a Brand in this game, and a and a Malphite who's on fire. Literally, he's on fire. It's just too much. It's too much for my poor commentating mind to take. But yeah, Wukong gonna be refilling that bloodthirster. Uh, should be getting that damage back up and uh, long sword to go with that zeal okay sure why not there we go everyone's going to go back to town what are you going to get Mr. Warwick with 1300 gold probably not much no, doesn't look like anything any with an abyssal scepter going out so uh, you know further reducing that magic uh, resistance of the enemy further increasing it. she's up to 600 ability power at this point and you know some magic resist of her own so that's a big boost you know, Trying to go for a little bit more of a tanky ante, you know, 2,500 hit points. Brand's at 1,800. You just saw him melt. Like, he got raffle boned. It was quite funny. I thought it was quite funny. Now, Stone is back in town with a rabbit on. So she's running 226 ability power. Still has that spirit visage. Somebody will probably berate me for it and explain it. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, duh. But I just don't see it right now. Starks, we already knew about the Starks. 400. Yeah, we're getting that strut up, Misfortune. Not a problem now. Didn't get anything here for the Warwicks, so he's still kind of all right. Now we do see a Gangplank. Where are you? There you go. We're running back to town. Let's see what the entities have picked up. Gangplank now with the Warmogs. I think we actually knew that because we deer had a Warmogs. And a Phage coming up for Mr. Wukong. Uh, I don't think... I see. Oh, there we go. Real Madras coming up from Mr. Udyr. So yeah, people are people are getting there. No, their their items are sitting those end stages. We're gonna see some pots coming out soon enough. Brand or Brand's been running blue pot like almost the entire game. 463 ability power. I think he's actually now gonna be losing this race up against Annie. Now we do have a little bit of time here with the Exaltos with uh, Mr. Baron Nasher. And we're just gonna be trying to set up for that sweet attack. But if you keep throwing pokes out like this, guys, it's not gonna work. I mean, they're just gonna keep backing off. You're never gonna get that big engage. But Malphite, oh, Malkai, going in for it. Malphite does lose his banshee. It does look like they're gonna be trying to focus down this Annie. Annie gets the divers off, thrown out. The incinerate, the disintegrate. Looks like she can be okay. The cannon's coming out. Beautiful, but Fortune Ultimate does look like Udyr is on the retreat. That monkey's going to be going down. No team. Malphite not looking so good. He's going to be running away. Has that cloak of burn. Not going to be Karen. Going to be taking out the turret as well. And the Malphite all going off. And wow, I think that's a four. That is four. Four deaths for zero, guys. That is how you take this game. And they really, really just tried to take out Annie. Did not work whatsoever. Tanking this tower a little bit is going to be our friend a Malphite. And, you know, towers at the stage of the game, they don't really actually super hurt him. But, I mean, why tank it when we got some creeps? It does look like Annie going to go for anything for the kill. We do got the stun off. And, ah, uh, we do got that, that, that flash. So, Brand is going to be okay. The sole survivor of that fight are going to get at least two, if not all three, inhibitors. Nobody really cares about top. No, don't care about top. Just go for it. Go for it. You got time. You got time. Like, we got a clear 22 seconds before anything even comes back to life. It does look like, well, Brand tried to defense. Looks like he died. Poor Brand. That's going to be a triple inhib, and that is probably going to mark the end of this game here, folks, as, uh, you know, Blue Team pulling it out in the end. Some superior positioning on their part, I thought, in that last fight coming out pretty nice. And ahead, 48 and a half minute game, 36-26 is the score. Mr. Warwick did a 2-6-24, so very supportive. Next time, you'll try running a bit more offensive in your masteries. You might be able to land a few more kills. Uh, you might be able to clear the jungle a little bit faster as well. So there you go. That's how you win it. Victory! Yes! Alright. Uh, I've been the Four Courts Jester here, guys, running with a League of Legends replay. Thank you for Gora Moth for supplying that with me. And guys, hey, I'm open for business at this point. You want a replay? Just send it on over. You can find my email on uh, the YouTube channel. You can just submit it to me through YouTube. You can just hit me up on, on Twitter. Upload it to League Replays. Drop me a link. You know, it does not matter whatsoever. But, you know, I'm going to keep doing this. going to keep learning. going to keep practicing. Uh, because, you know, there's... I just feel it's time, you know? What's the time? But thanks for watching. If you are watching, we get this busy ready for YouTube and the Four Court Jester here at League of Legends, and I'm going to be signing off.
So catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. It was a pleasure.